Macro Monopole, Astrophysics and Cosmic Ray Observatory was a particle physics experiment located at the Laboratory Nazionale del Gran Sasso in Abruzzo, Italy. A number of universities contributed personnel and equipment, including Boston University and University of L'Aquila. The primary goal of MACRO was to search for magnetic monopoles. The active elements of MACRO were liquid scintillator and streamer tubes, optimized for high-resolution tracking and timing. This design also allowed MACRO to operate as a neutrino detector and as a cosmic ray observatory. The experiment ceased operating in 2001. No monopole candidates were detected, meaning that the flux of monopoles is less than 5.6 times 10 minus 15 per square centimeter per steradian per second (cm minus 2 steradian minus 1s minus 1) for velocities between 0.0001 c and 0.001 c between 30,000 meters per second and 300,000 meters per second, the magnetic monopole is a theorized particle that has not yet been observed. It is a possible solution to Maxwell's equations. One researcher claimed to have observed a monopole with a light bulb-sized detector. The fact that a detector the size of multiple football pitches macro has not yet duplicated this feat leads most to disregard the earlier claim. The macro project included a large underground cavern, approximately 800 meters underground, which was further hollowed out and housed hundreds of long chambers filled with scintillating fluid, a fluid that gives off photons when a charged or magnetic particle passes through it. At opposing ends of the chamber were a pair of photomultiplier tubes. Photomultiplier tubes contain a number of small charged plates. They look like floodlights, but they are collectors that can take a handful of photons and «multiply» them. This multiplication begins by using the photoelectric effect to convert photons that hit the first «plate» into electrons. These electrons are then attracted to the next plate which gives off more electrons that it receives. The next plate does the same, thus amplifying the signal more at each plate. The photomultipliers used in the macro experiment were produced by Thorn Emmy, and were sensitive to a signal as small as five photons. After decommissioning, Macro donated about 800 photomultiplier tubes to the Dia Bay Reactor Neutrino Experiment. The exact voltage put on each plate was determined by a custom circuit board designed by some of the scientists involved with the project. The project leader at Boston University was Professor. James Stone. The scintillating chambers were assembled into high stacks and long rows. When a signal was detected, it was usually detected in multiple chambers. The timing of each signal from each photomultiplier told the approximate path and speed of the particle. The type of signal and the speed through the «pool» of chambers told researchers if they had observed a monopole or merely some common charged particle. 